Great is thy faithfulness. March 8th. Self-pity or rejoicing. Read Philippians 4, 1 through 8. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. Temperament seems to be something that each of us is born with. Some of us have upbeat dispositions, while others play the music of life in a minor key. Yet how we respond to life's trials also affects our overall disposition. For example, Fanny Crosby lost her sight when she was only six weeks old. She lived into her 90s, composing thousands of beloved hymns. Wow. On her 92nd birthday, she cheerfully said, If in all the world you can find a happier person than I am, do bring him to me. I should like to shake his hand. What enabled Fanny Crosby to experience such joy in the face of what many would term a tragedy? At an early age, she chose to rejoice in the Lord always. Philippians 4.4 4. In fact, Fanny carried out a resolution she made when she was only eight years old. How many blessings I enjoy that other people don't. To weep and sigh because I'm blind. I cannot and I won't. Let's remember that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Nehemiah 8.10 Let's also take comfort in the teachings of Jesus, who said, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. John 15, 11. When faced with the choice of self-pity or rejoicing, let's respond with rejoicing. Rather than complain about the thorns on roses, be thankful for roses among the thorns.